Okay, hi there, this is my first video to explain my Bedini motor, which I've built after seeing a few videos on YouTube, namely those belonging to KT Services Corp and Truth Be Known. I'd like to thank them for their interesting videos. Incredibly interesting. As you can see, they have clearly rubbed off on me. So, just a quick overview of what I've actually got built here. This is my Bedini motor with a Bedini circuit. As you can see here, it's rotating. See the centre axle there. Around the outside is a ring of magnets. Okay, they are all joined together. It's a one-piece circular unit on the outside of north, south, north, south, north, south, north, south, and that spins. Okay, and inside that ring is the set of coils here. Now, if you notice these three black parts that come away from the axle there that is how I've got them se separated okay so they're in these 24 coils are in three sets of eight so eight here this eight going around this side and then series to make the next coil the two eight series together so there's eight eight and eight so one coil is eight here and the next part is the other two on this side okay so as you can see these 24 out of the 8 they wrap around the first coil go to the next one wrap around go to the next one and that's what makes the connection from the coils okay okay so let's take this a little closer and I'll be able to show you as you can see that's it rotating now and it's joined up to a simple Bedini circuit here you can see the part the uh, transistor, diodes, neon, 212 volt batteries. At the minute it's currently wired to run off mains and charge those batteries up because I don't have a 12 volt battery charger so this is running as it's functioning as, as one at the minute. Before I start some proper testing this video was just to show you what I've got built here in this design. It seems the quite promising and as you can see at the point where I've series these two coils to make the second part of the bifiler I've broken the series and inserted a bridge rectifier there which then leads back to the battery as well as the Bedini circuit this is in an attempt to gain full wave rectification rather than half wave Okay, so I'll get back to you with some more details and some more tests. Thanks a lot.